Hello and welcome to another episode of Army Vehicle Comparison or AVC. Today we are comparing two early World War light tanks, the Russian BT-7 and German Panzer 38T, which is the Czechoslovak LT-38. Here we have the Russian BT-7. It was the last of the Russian BT series consisting of BT-2 and BT-5. The crew had only three members, commander slash gunner, loader and driver. Frontal armor on the hull was 22mm, 24 sides and 13 for the rear. The turret had 50mm armor from all sides, front, sides and rear. Armament consisted of 45mm M1932-38 anti-tank gun and a DT machine gun. Some versions had also a second MG at the rear of the turret, but it was not needed due to the fact that there were only three members of the crew. It reached max speed of 72 km per hour, which is 40 miles per hour, and 86 km per hour without tracks. Yes, the tracks could be taken off and so the tank could go even faster. But this was a pretty long process and wasn't done if not necessary. It was also only useful on proper roads, which Russians didn't have at that time. Cross country, the tank traveled reportedly 50 km per hour, which is 31 miles per hour. German Panzer 38D was originally a Czechoslovak tank called LT-38. After the occupation of Czechia, Germans decided to keep the concept. That's why the T means Czechish, which is Czech. The crew members were driver, who could also operate hull MG, loader, commander slash gunner, and radio operator, who could also operate MG, which is a total of four people. We are comparing the AUS E version, which was the best able version in the time of the encounter of BT-7 during Operation Barbarossa mid-1941. Frontal armor was 50mm, side 30mm and rear 15mm. Main armament was 37mm Skoda A7 cannon and secondary were two ZB-53 MGs. Its max speed was 42 km per hour, which is 26 miles per hour and cross country 25 km per hour, which is 15.5 miles per hour. The two tanks had pretty evenly matched main armament and both of them could easily destroy each other in range of 500 meters. While BT-7 had a slightly larger cannon, its mass velocity was actually the same as for the 38T. So what else could decide the winner, if not the firepower? There were a number of drawbacks for the BT-7. Firstly, there was lack of crew members. Three is just too few to do all the tasks in the tank efficiently. Next was the lack of coordination and communication. While Panzer 38 t had radio, BT-7 had them too, but very rarely and if they had them, their quality was very low, giving 38 big advantage. On the other hand, BT-7 was significantly faster, but that's quite pointless considering that tanks at that time were not accurate while shooting on the move at all. So after all of this, my personal opinion is that Panzer 38 t was a better tank and could potentially win a 1 vs 1 matchup. In this video I will introduce a little summary comparison table comparing production, crew and their experience, armor, armament, mobility, technology and overall combat which is a conclusion from the combat comparison. So starting with number produced, the winner is BT-7 which was almost 4 times more produced than Panzer 38T. The crew was definitely better and more experienced and educated on Panzer 38T considering some of the BTs were left out of action due to simple mechanical problems and inability of Russian crews to get them back on the road. Up next is armor which was third year on the 38T. Armament was basically equal, mobility was easily better on the BT-7, technology used on Panzer 38Ts, mainly radios, were better, and lastly combat is not a previously said win for the 38T. As always, if you don't agree with me, it's just my personal opinion based on facts I gathered. Let me know down in the comments if you have another opinion. Thanks for watching and if you like this series, be sure to leave a like or even subscribe. And I will see you next time.